Yarn 418 and I am back with another video. This is TGIF or Thank God It's Finished and I am here to talk to you all about those projects I showed you. For you it was last week, for me it was three weeks ago. Um, the projects I showed you that I was bringing on my vacation. Now I never have as much crafting time as I don't know what's going on with my hair. I need a haircut and I can't get one till the 9th. Oh, that's my hair growing back from my surgery. Anyway, tangent as always. So I brought all these projects to on vacation with us. And of course I did not finish them all. I had no delusion of finishing them all. I was hoping to just have a little bit of downtime when I could work on something. And the reason I bring so many projects is because I never know what I'm going to be in the mood to do. Uh, lately I have been knitting during the day and cross stitching at night after everybody goes to bed, but I didn't know if that's what I was going to want to do on the trip. And I didn't know how much time I was going to have. Maybe I just had, you know, 20 minutes to sit and knit for, you know, a row or two. I didn't know. And I did have a substantial amount of knitting time. We had a wonderful trip. It was uh, 13 days, 13 nights, 14 days. It, it was wonderful. We had the best weather that we could possibly have hoped for. We did have one day of rain, but it was nice to have a down day. And it was just a great trip. And as I mentioned in my last video, I am working on putting a video together of our trip. I just have to make sure I have enough footage. I, I mean, I'll put together a video of some sort, but it may have ink. It's not, I didn't film every day because I was just having a great time. I'm going to be honest. Anyway, so I was going to show you in the same order I showed you in the first video, what I knit, cross stitched and what I didn't. So first things first, we're going to talk about the knitting. I brought one, two, three, four projects. I mean, the socks were more than four projects because I brought six balls of sock yarn, I think it was. So, let's start with the socks. I don't have them down here, but the sock blank socks, I didn't touch them. I didn't touch them. Not a single stitch put in them or ripped out of them. So, there's that. Then there's all the yarn that I brought to knit socks. It's all still in the bag. It didn't move. So, no sock knitting. That's okay. That's totally fine. I was enjoying myself. The next project I told you I was bringing was the Juliet top. And I don't know if I have a picture of it down here, but I will look for sure. For sure. For sure. And seven years ago. I do. It's a black and white picture, so it's not that great. But check it out on... Ravelry. You can't see in this picture, but the sleeves have a lace and cable, lace detail, not cable. And I am knitting this out of some yarn I got on clearance at Hobby Lobby, Yarn B Sweet Divinity. And this sweater, I think these balls were like $1.27 each and I got five, so the sweater is going to cost six bucks and 27 cents or something like that. Anyway, um, this is a worsted weight, but it's a very thin worsted weight. This pattern is for a sport weight, so I did some rejigging of the numbers and made sure that it was going to work out the way it did. I've tried it on. It fits exactly how I want it to. Anyway, so this is how far I am. It's a v-neck sweater. These are the sleeves. Aren't they beautiful? They're just, it's short sleeve that you can't see. It's, it's just, it's really pretty. And I am doing a horrific job of showing it to you. There you go. You can see. There's no cables, actually. It's just a, a little bit of lace and pearls and slips and knits and all those good things. But here it is. Um, I'm about, I don't know, a quarter of the way done with the body. I anticipate I'll get this done in the next couple weeks. I'm really just enjoying my knitting and my crafting in general. So what I do, I do. And what I don't, I don't. So there it is. Love it. And it, as I mentioned, it fits really well. I tried it on. And that's all I have to say about that right now. So that's the Juliet top. I don't think I had... I was still increasing. 
I think I was even still knitting flat when I showed it to you last time. I don't think I had joined it into the round at the V-neck, so pretty good progress on that. I didn't work on that too, too much because I was more in a mindless knitting zone. The next project I brought was the bits and bobs. And I'm going to reach for the pattern if I can. Oof. This is a pattern by Kay Jones. Bakery Bears podcast. It's been out forever. And you use two strands of sock yarn. And I mentioned in my last video that... That's not the bag. That was all knitting needles. That I... When I finish making socks, I add a block to my sock yarn blanket and then I make magic cake. So this is like the second cake. This is my first cake. And then I'm also using, I have a bunch of natural speckled yarn. I'm using that as my contrast yarn. So I didn't know if I was going to bring this. I really hemmed and hawed about it and I'm really glad I did because I was able to knit on this a little bit. Um, while we were going down the road, um, because I rode in the RV this time for this trip, because it was a short trip, and I sat with Dewey in my lap and put my feet up because of the way it, he was sliding because of the way the chairs are in the, in the RV, so I put my feet up and we just knit, 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 knit. So, this is where I am on it now. You won't be able to see it all. Maybe you will. I can't see if you can see it all, but this is where I was last time, where this little gumball marker is, and I knit all this, which, if I was a good YouTuber, crafter, knitter, shower, and teller, I would have a tape measure, and I would have measured how long that was, but it was a good long bit, and it's just really enjoyable, so I would knit on this when, um... We were driving. I would. I wasn't driving. I was passengering. Uh, I would knit on it just at night when I only had a little bit of time to get a few stitches in. And I love this blanket. I don't know why I waited so long to start it. I probably, this is probably going to turn into another Scrappy Happy and I'll never finish it. But it's the project I've been keeping before I left, I was keeping it down in the craft room, and when I'd come down just to, when I'd come down at night, I'd knit on that because I didn't have to think about it. So I think I'm going to keep that down here again and go from there. Uh, the one thing I will say is if you make a mistake, it is a challenge, a challenge to figure out how to correct it. But I had, did not correct it correctly, <laughs> properly at all but I corrected it enough that it's good enough for me don't mind all these blankets that's where Dewey sits and nests at night just noticed how messy that looks anyway the last thing I told you I was going to bring on my trip for knitting was the Talia Talia I don't know how you say that tunic and this is a terrible picture because I printed in black and white but it's just cute Sadie asked me for a dress what Sadie asks for, Sadie gets, usually. And I mean, that was a dog toy. But um, this is how much I got done. Yeah, none. None. But I do need to get this on the needle soon. Um, because she's still asking for a dress, and that's fine. I am happy to oblige. There will come a time when she doesn't want Auntie to knit for her, or she doesn't want to wear dresses or something. So I am going to soak it up while I can. And I do have a different plan for Sophie to knit something for her. So that was my progress knitting wise. I need to take a sip of coffee. <coughs> a little tickle in my throat. Um, this can go in there. Then cross stitch. Cross stitch I was even more delusional in what I brought for projects. But every night I would, everybody would go to bed and I would sit at the d dining room table, the kitchen table, the table, um, and I would cross stitch for uh, an hour, two, three hours. So let's go in the same order that I showed it to you last time. Again, the first thing, oh, I didn't bring one thing down, but I'll, I'll explain. 
the first thing I showed you last time was Snapperville Stockyard by Bent Creek. And this is a pattern where um, the, the spots on the cow are snaps. That's really blurry. I don't know why. But that's what they are. I don't enjoy that. I don't enjoy that at all. Um, but that's okay. And I finished it. Uh, I don't know what fabric this is. I think this is Picture This Plus Wren. I think. I could be talking out my, my behind, but... I did finish it. It's adorable. The snaps didn't go on the way they said they would. And I don't know if that's because I used Ada. This is 16 count Ada. Or if it's because I just don't know what the heck I'm doing. So I sewed them on. I only sewed on one half. And I already know how I'm going to FFO this. And that is on my list of things to do now that we are home. And uh, hopefully I can show that to you soonly. Soonly. So that was the first project, and it was a start and a finish. Bazinga. The second project I told you about is Will You Be My Neighbor? And I don't have, I don't believe I have a picture of that. I just have the pattern printed out because I bought it digitally. I do, so that's what it looks like. Um, <laughs> and, oh, maybe I do. What's this? Nope, that's not it. I started this, I did not finish it, but I feel like I got some really decent progress on this. And this is not, I'm not showing them to you in the order that I worked on them. Uh, I got this as a kit from Frosted Pumpkin. I then lost the pattern, so then I bought a digital pattern so that I can't lose it. Um, but I still had everything from the kit. So this is all the DMC and the Ada that came with the kit, which it said what kind of fabric this is on it but I don't remember. Um, so this is where I am. I got one sheep, I got the girl's head, I got the barn, and it's looking pretty good. It's looking pretty good. I wasn't sure because I was stitching at night if this white showed up, and it doesn't really show up all that well because there's like some sheep up here too that you can barely see. So I think when this is all said and done, the sheep that are on the... Ada with no stitches surrounding it. I'll probably backstitch those and I'll decide what to do about this guy and he has a little friend over here. I'll decide if they need some backstitching too just so they don't get lost in the shuffle. And like there's some clouds here. Those are getting lost. I'll backstitch those also. But I'm pretty happy with that prog progress. I would say I am about about a third of the way done with this. Um, this green grass comes down. There's another sheep over here, as I mentioned, and then there's some wording down here and a border at the bottom that's a little bigger than this border. There also is a border that goes around the whole outside. I don't know if I'm going to do that. I got to think about how I'm going to finish that before I make that determination. I think that'll be the best choice for me. And look at this adorable needle minder. I could tell you where I got it, but I can't remember. Um, I've had it forever. So, that was the second thing I showed you I was going to work on. The third thing I showed you I was going to work on is the Winter Whirly Gig. And I used all the suggested DMC. And guess what? This is also done, and it needs to be ironed, and my lighting is terrible, but it's done, and it's ready to be FFO'd, so I'm really happy about that. That means I have three of the Whirly Gigs done, and I can actually display them in 2021 as opposed to keeping them in a drawer. So, finish number two. Um, the fourth thing I showed you was the spring whirly gig and guess what finish number four spring whirly gig done again this is done in all the suggested dmc and now i can show you this is all in one piece of fabric so i do know how i'm gonna finish each and every one of these I have the autumn whirly gig to finish to FFO and now I can just do all three of them at one time which will be like 
easy peasy pumpkin squeezy. God, when did I become such a dork? Oh wait, I've always been a dork. Oh yeah. All right, the next thing I showed you was was a was a was a um the bent i showed you the calendar series the snappers calendar and this is again comes with the snaps i'm not doing that i bought some micro buttons i'm going to use those instead so the first one i showed you was september september brings and i was going to do september i was really going to do september but then i decided by the time i get home i'm going to have to ffo this and then it'll be time to put it away so i did not work on september next was october october curls and i'm doing this in dmc and i'm doing this on 32 count belfast i think it's raw or natural i think it's raw and there are the snaps again i'm not going to use those like i said i ordered some buttons instead and I am happy to report I have October curls done. And I know how I'm going to FFO this. I have a perpetual calendar that I bought. And I am going to put that on there. And it's one of the ones with the turning blocks. And I'm going to put these on magnets and sticky board and probably some fabric backing so that I can change them out every month and just change the dates. So October curls. And I... This one could go without a button, but because I bought the buttons, I'll add the button to it. It'll just give it a little something extra. So October Curls is done. The next one I showed you I was going to work on was November Twirls. And this has all those, see the black buttons there? Black snaps, all those black spots are, button, are snaps. Not doing that, but guess what? November twirls. I was like loving these small projects. I think pro small projects are my jam. I think they are my jam. And I got some little buttons, like I said, coming. And that was the last thing I showed you cross stitch wise that I was going to work on. But then came December swirls. I was on a roll and I had all the floss for all the months with me. So I pulled this one out. And I don't have a finish. I'm going to take the needle minder off because it kind of blocks it. I may actually finish this today, if not today, in the next couple days. I have ur swirls. Ur swirls. And I really like it and I'm excited. I've had these patterns for probably two and a half years. They're finally getting done. This is a series that was meant that, you know, you could do them all together, but I already have the Frosted Pumpkin one up there, and I really wanted the Perpetual Calendar thing for that. So that is what I finished for Cross Stitch, which brings me to the thing I forgot to bring down. <clears throat> I brought with me the Lizard Mill Hill Kit, the Mummy, the Sweater, the Chickadee, and the Yellowstone Santa, and I did not touch them. I didn't touch them. I just didn't. I wasn't feeling them. I love Mill Hill kits, but it's something that I really need to be in the mood for. And I just, it just wasn't feeling it this time. So sometime soon, when I get into a Mill Hill mood, you can't stop me. You just have to watch out because it's going to be Mill Hill mania. Anyway, that is all I have. Now I have some more plans for going forward and I have some projects I didn't show you, um, both knitting and cross stitch and I don't know if I have any crochet, but there's crochet plans in the future. But I wanted to focus this video just on what I told you I was bringing on vacation so that I can show, could show you what I actually did on vacation. And um, I had a fair, I had a decent amount of craft time because we would go out during the day, um, we would drive around, we were very careful. Um, we'd come back to our RV. We cooked all our meals at the RV. Sometimes we would go out in the evening and like we saw one beautiful sunset, which I have some pictures of to show you. And then in the evening, it was just downtime. I mean, so once in a while I had to go and do a load of laundry, but it was just relaxing time. It was awesome. It was awesome. That's all I have to say. So 
If you liked this video, please, please, please give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear from you. And my screen just turned off, so I guess it's time to stop talking, Erin. Um, and hit the subscribe button. I'd love to visit with you again. All right. I will talk to you guys really soon. I hope you're doing well. And until next time, bye-bye. Another video. This is Thank Goddess Finished or T TGIF. <laughs>